Hey gang, Jackalair here. Uh, as some of you know, I not only collect video games, well, collect is kind of a bad word at this point, but uh, I really love the idea of laser discs, and uh, managed to finally found one of my one of my white whales, one of the the unicorns that I never thought I'd get. Learned a trick. If you're looking for something. Don't be afraid to look in the lots. Like, where it's like, ah, I've got 24 laser discs that I'm getting rid of. I spent less on these than I would have if I bought just the one that I wanted out of these. And, in addition, I got a bunch of other laser discs. So, what did I get? We well, started out with uh, the Daryl Hannah, uh, John Candy, and Tom Hanks movie, uh, Splash. Uh, for those of you who don't know the story of this, uh, Daryl Hannah and Tom Hanks fall in love. Daryl Hannah, however, is a mermaid. Hilarity ensues. Uh, Mel Brooks, silent movie. Well, I should go without saying it's a Mel Brooks movie, therefore it's going to be pretty funny. There are only one or two of his that I don't like, but uh, silent movie is one of them, so... Uh, a movie that I really don't, not really thrilled about, but it was in there. Little Big Man, Dustin Hoffman, not one of his stellar performances in my opinion. A movie that I remember, but I don't, I remember seeing, but I don't remember at all is Deal of the Century. Now, this is Sigourney Weaver, that is Chevy Chase, that's Gregory Hines. I know him from a uh, tap dancing movie with the Russian. White Knights? I don't know. Like his, My memory of him is hazy, at best. Uh, this one I know nothing about. Nothing at all, but the just the, the cover alone makes me laugh. Young doctors in love. Warning, this movie may be dangerous to your health. You may never stop laughing. Wow. We were really full of ourselves in the 80s, weren't we? This one. Mm -hmm. A golden decade of college football. 1970 to 1979. I wasn't alive for most of these years, so... Who knows? Maybe it'll be fun. And of course... Death Wish 2 with Charles Bronson. Now, Charles Bronson was always a weird one, in my opinion, because he made... To a lot of people, he was the action movie guy, but for me, it was always... He was always kind of second tier. And then, of course, uh, he launched into fame in my friend group when, in Boondock Saints... One of the brothers said, Charlie Brunson always has rope. And more Police Squad. Not to be confused with Naked Gun movies, but uh, it's got everybody from those movies in here. At least I think. I haven't checked everybody. But this is episode 4, 5, and 6. Uh, these are funny, but I can't show my son these because we watched Cannonball Run 2 with my son. And it, I had to, like, he was like, Dad, why is that funny? I'm like, because people were racist in the 1980s. That's the only explanation I had. Uh, Trading Places. Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. Back when both of them were funny. I miss these guys. I miss the zany comedies. We don't get them as much. We get kind of... Or, oh no, my penis is stuck in a giraffe. Um, Clint Eastwood, a Dirty Harry movie, Sudden Impact. Uh, I used to have... There used to be a guy that uh, always came into Barnes & Noble when I worked there, and he was a huge Clint Eastwood fan, specifically Dirty Harry, and he would order the the box sets, like the the really awesome ones that came with like his shield and everything. They were always messed up, we always had to order them again. Now, this is Lone Wolf McQuaid. And I know some of you are like, oh, awesome! 
it's got my favorite person in it. And I'm like, I know, David Carradine's in this. And that other guy. Now, The Jerk is a movie that I was... This is where I was introduced to Steve Martin. I did not watch Saturday Night Live back then. But this came on TNT or TBS or one of those stations when uh, we had Satellite. And I was introduced, and there are only two things I remember from this movie. I remember the beginning, which is I was born a poor, you know. And then where he's screaming that the phone book is here. Because if your name is in the phone book, you're somebody. Only two things I remember about this entire movie. Oh, oh they remade this movie. It's Arthur. It wasn't funny the first time. It wasn't funny the second time. This this will never be funny. It was like, oh, there's a rich, privileged person that has to live like, oh, that's poor people. It's not funny. And the reason that I got the whole lot, one of my favorite movies of all time, it's on my top ten list, I don't remember which one it is, but I think it's hovering around number five or so. It was uh, directed by Albert Pyun, Pyun? Pyun, I think that's how you pronounce it, who uh, directed Cyborg and uh, Alien from L.A., and this was in in the in the age of sword and sandal movies. This was my like ah oh, yes, thank you. He had this is the sword and the sorcerer, and like the 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 basic the setup of the plot is awesome because it is it is what we my friends would con commonly referred to as a drunken gamer movie where a bunch of bunch of gamers got drunk and said what if we what if we make a movie about a prince who lost his kingdom but he's okay with that he goes on to be a mercenary and he he does it all for the chicks yeah and he's got a sword with three swords three blades and they can shoot. But this was just really weird. Uh, there's a lot of nudity and the good old fashioned like arm chopping off, like ah, blood spraying in the air. It's but it's awesome. If if any of you get a chance to see this, I highly recommend it. Uh, especially considering uh, I paid I think twelve dollars for all these. Twelve for thirteen. It would have cost uh, well over 20 for this alone, and if I wanted this on DVD, it would have gone into the 60 to $80 range. So, I now have my pride and joy. I can watch it whenever I want, and just... Hmm. But, that's it for me. Um, I think my laser disc collection is now virtually complete, unless there's something out there that I just don't know that I have. I have Big Trouble in Little China. I have a Sword and the Sorcerer. Unless there's a Buckaroo Banzai out there on Laserdisc, I think I might be done. Aurora Transformers the movie. That might be another one that might fit into that weird, I want this on Laserdisc thing. But, thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!